Hello guys, this is Liam here, and today this is going to be a wagon review. Uh, and as you can see, this is a Barkman Brunts line uh, seven plank wagon. So, um, firstly, we'll uh, get on with the looking at the box. So as you can see, we've got, it's got the um, ribbon along the bottom, which just has Barkman.co.uk scale one and seventy six slash double O. You rivet counters out, they'll be saying no, 1 in 76.2, but we won't think about that. Um, Parkman branch line, just, yeah, just a bit of information if you're wanting to contact them. Logo, basic information on the end, um, and then we've just got, uh, your, um, bit more information, and it says they're made in China. Uh, and then we've got the logo on the bottom, yeah. So, anyways, that's the box. Now that we've covered that, we'll crack her open. So, uh, one of the first things you may notice is the block of ice packaging. Uh, for me, I think this works quite well, personally. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about it. Uh, so, yeah, it's very good. It just opens at the top there, and it folds over like that. And then we'll take the wagon out, and ba -dum, that's quite exciting. Uh, anyways, chuck that to one side. Um, so now we have the wagon, <clears throat> and we'll come up a bit closer first of all. Now you'll see that the uh, the writing on that is absolutely stunning. Um, very very neatly applied. Um, it actually gets quite small in some parts. Like that has got to be the smallest writing I think I've ever seen on a model. You hear my camera going, that's just it, um, focusing, hang on, I'll try and zoom in on that, I'll try and get that to focus, because I really want to know what that actually says, because I physically can't see it, focus, that's the sound of my camera desperately trying to focus as well, okay, there you have it, so that looks like a tag of, a tag of some description, um, which is very hard to read. What does that actually say? Looks like it might say Gloucestershire. But I really don't know. I actually, I physically cannot read that. It's, um, <laughs> I would say ridiculously small, but it's really good that it's that small. I mean, it's genuinely impossible to read, uh, for me anyway. Um, I actually sat there for a good couple minutes trying to look at that, but nope. Anyways, so anyway, coming back onto the, the detail of the model, uh, you can see it's got all the little, uh, yeah, writing explaining what it is. Crane and Company Firework Manufacturers Bristol, uh, contractors for firework displays, which is quite cool. Uh, you know, you don't often hear of fireworks, uh, companies. Sending the goods by train, but there you have it. We've got uh, the end, you can see there's the seven planks, and the uh, the end, the capping on the end, to hold it all together. The buffers are quite nice, they're very basic there. I uh, don't know how you describe them. I, th I think they are GWR buffers. I don't really know much about buffer types, but I'd say they're GWR ones because they're kind of pointy. Uh, I think that's what the GWR ones look like. We've got the hook on the end, which is an actual hook. And we've got underneath, we've got the coupling, which is just a slim tension lock without the hook, actually. Just noticed. Neither ends have hooks. They probably did originally. They probably come off. They tend to do that. Um, as you can see, we've got metal wheels, or at least metal um, tyres and flanges. Plastic axle. Uh, and then... Trying to get the light right. These are not actually NIM uh, pockets. They actually unscrew. But that, that uh, we mechanism there is just so that it's just for flexibility. Uh, the other side's pretty much the same. And then we've got the actual underframe detail for like the uh, brakes and hand brakes and stuff. And you can see there's actually a hand brake there yeah, that doesn't work, but you can see it. And you can see all the bits and pieces for the ear brakes and the handbrake 
Then, coming on top of the wagon now, you can see the interior is painted in like a dark brown. Which I really like it when companies do this. It looks, just adds so much to the wagon. It makes it look so much more... Uh, oh, I'm not sure what the word... Well, I don't know how you'd say it, but... Uh, I guess it makes it look like they've given the wagon more thought and time when designing it. We've also got this very nice, fine little bar across the top. If the camera wants to focus, there it is. It didn't actually take too long. Um, which is really nicely put there. I don't know whether it, I think it would be separately fitted. Um, but yeah, that's really nice detail there. And inside, even inside the wagon, there's quite nice detail applied in there. Um, so I'm genuinely very happy with this model. I actually got this model quite a while back. But, um, yeah, it's um, one that I'm glad I've got. And I'm really, really happy that I've got it. And, well, I just basically said the same thing twice, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and if you're looking at getting uh, new wagons, I recommend this one now, now that you've seen a review on it, if you've made it this far. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.